Exciting scandal. Hello. Oh, How dare you? Uh, well, I'm in a state of shock. I'm just gonna eat my ring. Diva, diva. Dulcie de jour. I need the money. Damn me, Rambo! Stop! Who? Who? I'm shy! I fucking deserve it! Have a nice life! Nail, nail, can't do anything. Donatella Nazi. Very happy diva. We're here to participate, to recognise the true talent that makes up Sydney's cross dressing. We do little shows. Transgender. Glam best our community. Divas started in 1990 and there's been a tradition in Sydney for many years, going right back to the 70s, of uh, having a night each year that recognises the, the drag queens in their work. The drag scene in Sydney, I don't know of anywhere or any other city in the world that has a scene like this. It's just enormous, involving about 40, 50 different performers. Um, then you have all the other drag queens and people who, who go out socially. It's a very strong, very vibrant scene. Campness is the essence of, of drag. The funnier and the more theatrical and no, no, the other side of the bar is darling. I know it's a change, but try and come with us, okay? Now! Do it, do it well. Make sure you do it well. Spend at least two hours in the mirror doing your makeup. Any gay venue you go to, there's always a drag show there. You can't beat a good drag show. At the midnight shift, it's Wednesday night, going up to do a show. It's not going to be very busy tonight. I mean, uh, Wednesday, what do you expect? <laughs> My full name is actually Nicholas Smith. I grew up in a, a small south coast town called Kayama, about two hours out of Sydney. I left Kayama in about 1989, I think it was, late, to go to university in Sydney. And that didn't last very long, this horrible thing. I was going to be a teacher, and just like mum and dad, until I decided. I got into a classroom, student teaching, and decided I hated children. I went out a few times in drag with friends. Actually, I was living with a drag queen at the time, like as a flatmate. And I used to go out every now and then in drag, and then eventually the flatmate that I was living with gave me a job. Okay. My name is Paul McCarter. I'm 25 years old. I was born in Newcastle, New South Wales, and most people nowadays know me as Atlanta, Georgia. Drag came into my life when I moved to Sydney and I met someone that I was going out with at the time, who's also into drag. The first time I actually did a show was because my boyfriend was sick. They dressed me up and I went out and did the show and had a great time. Um, a bit of a strange little boy, um, not the normal. Um, always dressing up in mummy's clothes and when I sort of reached adolescent it, it sort of uh, got a bit much for them, said no, no Michael, so when they go away from the house, in I go. And then at ad adolescence I was the same shoe size as my mother, <laughs> so um, it was great. Yeah, it all clicked in when I came to Sydney, it was all, ah, oh, this is why this, and ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh fabulous and then I haven't looked back. The drag queens I think are very old souls I think you know they're people who have been through a few lives and know what it's all about. My, my real name is Trevor that was my male name and then when I switched over into lady or female attire I thought I'd better change it to another name and I called myself Carmen the exotic dancer I am born in 1936, well before the Second World War, so I'm pretty ancient. I'm in my 60s, on my way to my 70s, but if I'm night clubbing and having a nice date out, or looking for someone nice, 
I'm 45. In the early 60s, I, I was doing a bit of freelancing show as a stripper and an exotic dancer, a belly dancer and a snake dancer. And it, was, it was wonderful because it was a mix of everybody. Lots of camps, lots of gay. A lot of the drag queens those days, they did. They got a lot of dates from heterosexual guys, which was amazing. Yeah, I'm a transsexual and who I live in women's clothes all my lifetime for 40 years and happy the way I am. These are our tits. We get them from the tool shed. They're called lovely feelers. I don't know what people do with them, but we use them as breasts. Okay, I had my face done. I had electrolysis done, which I haven't had a shave for 20 years. And I had my bust done, because I didn't have the rest of the operation done because I felt as though I didn't need it. I was happy as I am. To talk, to give you a nice, smooth, feminine look, um, your balls go up. There's little sockets that your balls go up and the rest of you comes up behind and the stockings keeps everything in. Flat as a tack. Sometimes they pop out if you're on stage and you're doing something. Most of the times they stay there. It's a little bit uncomfortable but you get used to it after a while. And I find it helps me walk properly as well. If you've been in it a long time, you've been in drag for a long time, it can get quite painful. It stops you from going to the toilet too. <laughs> There's a lot of drag queens today they have no intentions of having sex changes. They're quite happy as they are when they finish doing these shows, they go home and they're guys. We know we're men, we're not trying to be women. Despite what you may think, I'm quite happy with my masculinity. I mean, I don't have sex in dresses or anything like that. We're trying to be funny, we're trying to be bitchy, we're trying to be colour movement, bright, happy, you know, it's about having fun. You know, doing my hair, wearing makeup, putting on these uh, Hawaiian hula skirts and, and bras and, and, and flowers and jewellery, it was absolutely wonderful, I felt great. The first time I went out in drag as Mogadonna was fabulous, it was great, you feel a whole a wholly different person. Your, your attitude definitely changes when you're in drag. You do things that you'd never do if you weren't. Although I can, can do a lot more when I'm in drag. It's just about extending my personality and, um, yeah, it's not about sex at all. We've given you a little kit there, and uh, in it you'll find a lovely letter from us saying thank you very much, and it's also what you can say and what you can't say in terms of sponsors. No swearing. Yes, no swearing. A fucking envelope, you organise this fucking shit fight. If you see any, anyone who's a presenter or who's a winner who's getting into trouble, step in, you know, don't, don't ride over them, but, but make sure that the night runs smoothly. We don't want any huge embarrassing gaps and, you know, that sort of stuff. <laughs> Please come out and give it to us because we have... We have nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Except a fantastic nothing. figure in a wonderful dress. If some of them are getting a bit pissed and they're going on a bit, you know. When we do thank the organisers here for giving us a fabulous time. What about if we're getting a little bit pissed? I mean, <laughs> you won't be getting a little bit pissed at all until afterwards. Oh, can't they drink? They're champion drinkers, they certainly are. Oh, Atlanta, Georgia. Bars and drinking. Most drag queens can drink just about anyone under a table. Thanks, so. Del. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think the pain of the shoes takes the wobbliness away for some reason. But it does. in Winessa's case, she doesn't care how messy she gets. I am Winessa, mongrel bitch. I am 29 years old and I am an alcoholic. Yeah. Well, we need to find out what you want to drink on stage. Evian. <laughs> and atomizer. <laughs> Coca Cola. Coca On stage. It's got an intravenous drip. Intravenous drip, darling. Scotch. Beer. Beer, what? VB will be fine. This doctor came in. He must have been 12 years old. I thought, my tights are older than you. He said, we've found sugar in your urine. I said, I don't care if you found a fucking toporone in my urine. I'm not giving up the drink. 
please no swearing. I mean, racist, <laughs> racist sexist and offensive remarks I totally agree with, but what do you classify as swearing? Too much I'm swearing. Yeah, I mean, well, you've got, you got, we've tried, yes, definitely. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> out. Can, definitely what? out. Can we slip a few Fs in? Because well, that's just my way of speaking yeah, not, not anyway. Not too many, not many. Not, not, I mean, not, not, not every second word. I just want to say something before we go any further. I hate my fucking dress. Do you mm. consider, like, uh, say, shit face? That's swearing. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. No. Okay, that's cool. fine. They say oh, that oh, on oh, radio. Who, who gives a fuck? It's not as bad no, as, as fucking... But there yeah. are some... I scoop the pool. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> people hate me for it, but uh, I don't care. I've got them, they haven't. <laughs> There's certain people that think it's a bit of a joke, but it's, you know, it's the Academy Awards for drag queens as far as I'm concerned. I'm presenting Personality of the Year. At the night the drag industry gets together, whom there would only be 20 working drag queens, all giving each other awards. <laughs> Pretty pointless, really. <laughs> No, it's not. It's a fun night. It's our Christmas, of course. I mean, I think it's, for me, it's more for more than Mardi Gras these days because it's, it's more industry. It's more the people who make the scene what it is all year round. I'm performing in a show at Divas. I Want Candy, a song by the Candy Girls, uh, in the theme of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm nervous about performing in front of all those other drag queens. But I'm pleased with it so far. Move, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chorus. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we won't have to worry about foot level. Stand by so, um, take it up about Sound another foot. Today, calm. I mean, last year we've made a uh, focus of the ceiling, but this year we've got so much happening on the stage. One, two, punch. Three, four, kick. One, two, bump, five, six, bump. So we're a little bit ahead of ourselves and we've got a lot of staff here so it is quite calm but I'm sure any minute now Ian or Dot and I will go into a punch up like we always do and tell each other we hate each other and there's too much stress but I'm sure it'll be fine. Watch your spacing, um, especially during during this move, you're really stepping it out now um, um, and you don't need me, to. Guys, I just can't listen to Trudy while I'm being filmed. This is very big for us, yes. A lot of new elements in the production, including the video wall behind me. Um, very ambitious for us, entertainment. We run this thing on a very small budget. Any money we do make goes to the AIDS Council in New South Wales. <laughs> this is the night where they come and have a damn good, damn good time. And the dollars and the charity bit is not so much it's about this is their night of recognition. I am really excited. I'm excited about meeting up with some old mates. So, they usually come out of the woodwork for these things, so it's good. It's going to be good. We're very lucky we've got lots of really good professional people on the technical side, and um, they're all doing their job beautifully. Sister, sweetheart, slave and mother, step down. I see me, and I like what I see. Do -do. Oh, all that money we gave you fabric, <laughs> you didn't have a scrappy moment for your twat. Do I have a favourite drag queen? No, but I might after tonight, definitely. It's 20 to 8, and we're about to, uh, we just turned the heaters on, we're about to take the work lights off. We've got people outside already, which is amazing for drag queens. They're always late, but this year for some reason they're early. I hope that means they're excited. Yeah. Amanda. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello! Oh, hello! <laughs> just, look, just look past me for a second. Hi! Hey, hey, hey monkey, darling. We need. I come from Mars. Hi! Oh, hello. hello. I love it. Describe <laughs> my armpit. Our uh, outfit. Oh! Sorry, I had my ass to you. The seven inches. I always believe the girl needs a bit of pipes. It's my boat here at the lovely Deaver Awards 1997. It's my aid to Pippi Longstocking. Oh, everybody looks fabulous. I mean, how can you fault anyone? I've got to go to the dressing room to deliver my costumes for the show. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. <laughs> 
動画ああ、エクスケイズメリーあかないチッチーガチーザラッシュ、チャルミシー、フィックスファッキンカワーで、ないでチーガーズのパーティーにバンガイマフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフああ。Do you know the words, please? Oh, look, I'm really sorry, but I just don't know what's going on, you know? I can't come in. Excuse me. I was going, excuse me. Oh. Yeah. Here, Dom. Are we almost ready? No. No. I know. Do you have to get it all together? See you guys. Everybody, gather round now. The This evening's performance will commence in five minutes. Please take your seats. Excuse me. <laughs> Just checking. Oh, oh, did you go? Fucking hell, Trey. Oh, the stress and strain of it all. Oh, nothing. I'm winching. Give me a quick sip. Give me a quick sip. Quick sip. About a big round of applause as they leave the stage. Let's hear it for Christy McNichols. Play Girls Review. I said, you know, she wants to keep them all together because I went to get mine today. She said, no, I want to keep them all together. Where is it? Oh. How am I going to join and join? Come on, kids. What have you got, Ringwood? <laughs> Look, I've got ring one! Hey, what? Hairpins? Now I've got Somebody took all my hairpins. It wasn't me, darling. I've got my own stash here. Oh, do you have any? I can't yeah. spare any, darling. Our first award is Best DJ of the Night. And our first presenters are the incomparable Mr. Lance Leopard and the incredible talents from Capital Q. Let's hear it for Miss. Victoria Bitter. Give them a big round of applause as they come to the stage. Good evening. We're going to be quick about it because we haven't had a line or a drink. I can't even tag along now. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, I actually came in with a friend. And some hairspray, so I can do my eyes. I got none. <laughs> Shocking. No, I can hairspray. And the Oscar goes to. You read it out, darling. You're a lady. The winner is Alex Mr. Taylor. Alex Taylor. I get so much enjoyment out of playing music, and even more when you appreciate it. So thank you. So tonight, best choreographer is presented by. Two people, how about a big round of applause for the incredible talents of Miss Amelia Airhead and Miss Chelsea Buns. Put your hands together.
hello. Hello, Amelia. Oh, how, how, are how, you? how are you? Are you excited? I am wetting myself, Chelsea. You? Oh, look, I hate to go to the toilet tonight, but I'm not drinking tonight because I don't want to go to the toilet. You're a fully fledged drag. It's my second year. Well, only a don't, day. Nanny, you've only got one year. What are you doing? <laughs> you've only got one year. You're no drag princess anymore, girl. You're nothing but a fully fledged drag queen. Okay. You've got your tits in. You've only got a little My Tupperware tits. Yeah, she's got oh. Tupperware. She can have a Tupperware party and give away fly bars. The winner of Best Choreographer Diva 97 is Ashley, Ashley Swift! Swift. Woo! I'd just like to thank everyone who has supported me for the last 12 years. It's taken 12 years for any aspect of my work to be recognised at these awards. I mean, Betty Windsor got an award before I did. What do you think of that? Wake up and smell the talent, eh? Hello? I'd just like to say thank you. I deserve it. I fucking deserve it. Have a nice life. Well, so modest, isn't he? Going on to present our most popular personality. Um, yeah, well, getting up there on stage is always exciting. No, you're fine, look. It's great. Well, we didn't get here until drinks started. Oh, well, until drinks had finished, actually. Mm. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty busy. Uh, why? Because cab didn't come in time, bloody cab drivers. The wonderful talents of Miss Mogadonna and the incredible talents of a very popular male performer, Mr. Christopher Pindar. Come on, let's hear it. Do you like Mogadonna's hole? Many people have seen that hole. Fuck off. Nice big hole. Oh, how dare you! You can talk. The winner of the Best New Diva for 1997 is Miss Varushka Darling. Well, I'm in a state of shock. Um, uh, I would like to thank everyone who has supported me um, from the very beginning of my drag career. Uh, it's been quite amazing. People always say that drag is a really bitchy business and that everyone's quite catty, but I say no. There isn't a lot of new talent around. And again, we wouldn't have let a lot of new talent get it around. It's a very, very closed society. Actually, I've had wonderful, supportive, beautiful people. Oh, except for the two behind me who are the exception that proved the rule. But otherwise, gorgeous, glamorous people have helped me every step of the way. A lot of people get jealous as well, you know, so... Um, which I'm a little bit guilty of sometimes. If I see a lot of true talent coming out of one person, I'll go, mm, it's a threat to me. When all they really want is what those jokers always want And when they get it, we don't see them till they want it again It's a great show, this one. Too much. It's fabulous. We love all that. Hello, Foxtail. Hello, Foxtail. I've got you on at home. Good luck. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a drag evening of thrills and spills already, and we've only just begun. We are tiny little bit nervous. We nearly are ready to go on, but God, is not that a wonderful evening? I'm speaking of Miss Pennsylvania and Miss Claire Deleuze. Well, 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 what's cooking, good-looking? 
tonight. All you people have uh, nominated the, the personality, is it? The yes. best personality. Claire. Most popular personality. I think you should have won, darling. No, I don't have personality. You don't need personality when you have tits. <laughs> I think of drag queens as being very... Uh, 90 cla they're 90s clowns, you know, the clowns have gone from the circus, there's hardly any more circus left, but the same uh, amount of makeup is on our face, but different shades, of course, but we're very similar to clowns, I think. Someone told me tonight I look like a cross between Vivian Westwood and Krusty the Clown, the diva. Most popular personality is Chelsea Bunn! What can I say? I truly can't believe I've won this award. People said, oh, I voted for you, Chelsea. I said, oh, thank you. But I truly can't believe it. Um, I hope I make everybody happy because I know I can't dance, but at least I've got personality. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm confused. It's a drag evening. Why do we have bananas and pajamas? We should be having zucchinis and bikinis. Stunning, darling. A melted that's down cool. Oscar, that's what it is. See, it's melted. It really is an Oscar. <laughs> if you, you smell, smell know it. If you smell the end of it, you'll realize what else it is. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome children to our uh, play school tonight. Um, we're at the Diva Awards and yes, it's female impersonators. There have been any surprises so far? Uh, Varushka winning Best New Diva, I didn't think she would. Someone good comes along, we'll all get together. <laughs> I promise never to hire them. <laughs> they soon find it very difficult to get work. A lot of people misconstrue drag queens. We turn, but we turn well. You know, but most of the time we get along. But when something's not fair, then we let it rip. Have you had the many surprises so far? Thank you. Yeah, Chelsea getting that award. No, it's bad news. Please, please, please. Move on, move on. Good on her. Good on her. Oh, no, don't lie. Don't lie, please. This is my first Diva Award, and I'm sure it won't be my last, but we're here to present the most popular show, right? Yes, okay. and it goes to... Well-seasoned queens. You know what? We work bloody hard. We deserve it. Thank you very much. Good night. God bless. Very, very expensive. If you make stuff yourself, of course, it's a lot cheaper. Which is why most drag queens, you know, can sew. To present the Fashion Award for you this evening, we have the Trans Tasman Twosome, the lovely Rika Paris, and the equally lovely Sachet. Hello, Miss. Well, well, well. Good evening, family. I just have one very tiny thing to say. I love you. And the winner for the 1997 Diva Costume Design Award is... Chelsea Bunn. You go, girl.
Well, what can I say? I have to say this first because I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I truly liked it. Two and a half years ago, I started at the Imperial Hotel with Caroline Clark and Mitzi McIntosh, and they said, if you want to live, girl, you got to sew. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, most of them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely most of them. Not surprised, more than horrified. Yeah. 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 Oh, tell it like you see it, Norel. Horrified. Mortified. But, well, you know. Careful. Careful now. Um, <laughs> where's Tracy? No, I'm really happy with them all. Oh, you're going to love this next one. Bitch of the Year. Presented by the very, very camp, Vanessa Wagner and Mitzi McIntosh. Let's hear it for them. Hello, Mitz. Yeah, bitching is part of it, but it's not, I don't think people go out and think, I'm going to be such a bitch tonight. It's got to do with mood. Now, now we're not bitchy, nasty people, are we? No, we're going to try to be saccharine sweet. Absolutely, and a gorgeous outfit you've chosen this evening. An inexpensive choice, I'm sure. It's very bitchy, unless you're at the top and then they're all nice to you, because um, they all want something from you. I'd like to say something about bitching. Now, apparently, bitching and gossip is an integral part of our community's mental health. And some... No, it's true, apparently. Some researcher found out that some Aboriginal tribes partake in lots of bitching and gossip just because it helps them all get on. And the winner is? Oh, very interesting. Maud Boat. Oh, thank you. Those people who, who know me well no, I'm a fucking tyrant and a fucking bitch. Thank you very much. I'll try to be as bitchy as I can during the next 12 months. I'm sure you'll love me after that. Thank you very much. Good night. You've got to have a gimmick if you want to get ahead. And my gimmick is these. <laughs> and um, they're fabulous light pieces of artwork and um, they don't need any styling or any hairspray or anything. They just pop on and they don't come off. I was lucky because I was the only dark and coloured person in that very early 60s and so I, was, I felt quite good because I had no competition. High heels, short skirts, the shorter the better. I've worn on stage lycra bodysuit that's just it's disgusting of it. For some reason people like it. Um, I think if I'm comfortable with it then the crowd's comfortable with it. Um, and it adds to the comedy of whatever you're doing as well. It's also about attention. Um, don't always get the same attention when you're in, when you're not in drag. And attention's nice. Everyone likes attention. Oh, How many muscle Marys do you look at working out as much as they do for something like? And look. Do you know how long I've had to diet to look like this? That's right. I thought you just didn't eat. Well, I don't, but anyway. Hi, listen.
and I, I know the girls are all very highly strung and their diets probably aren't as good as they should be. Of course, that upsets people's thought processes. My mistake. Too much cocaine. I can't even read. Totally fruit. Oh, sorry, Trudy. Biggest oh. mistake of my life. Oh, I told you I should have done that one. You should have done it. And we've got the duty of delivering to you the Community Service Award for 1997. This award ain't about lipstick, rouge and glamour. It's about those organisations who are beavering away, often with limited or no resources. The last three years have been an extraordinary time for this organisation as they fight hard chipping away at the heterosexual bureaucracy. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1997 Diva Community Service Award sponsored by the Oxford Hotel goes to the Gay, gay and Lesbian Rights Lobby. Lobby. People think of drag queens and they think of it as being something totally apolitical, no interest in politics at all. And the first time that I ever spoke in public in my life was a rally for anti-vilification laws outside Parliament House. And I looked out across the crowd looking for something that would make me feel brave. And standing head and shoulders above the crowd was Mogadonna in full drag. And I looked at her and I felt brave enough to give my speech. And that reminded me how important drag is to this community this the most fabulous of communities in the world and I've never forgotten that moment and I never will. Thank you very much for this. I want you to go home and remember this. 10% is not enough. Recruit, recruit, recruit. This next performance was a submission from Atlanta, Georgia. I would like to now present I Want Candy. together for the Willy Wonka Factory produced by Miss Atlanta and her girls. Come on. That's what we like to hear. Lots of applause. Oh, God. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. How was it? Quick. But very good. It was too, wasn't it? That's good. Gloves. Now I've been told to hurry this section up because you're all pissed now. I didn't sleep, but I forgot a little bit, but that's all right. Ah's in the middle. <laughs> I forgot a bit and I was in the middle, so I thought, fuck that. 
And the lollies went off. Cool. Yeah, all over the stage. Did they? Yeah, they're all over the stage. How come? The next people who perform will kill you at the end Georgia. <laughs> Let them. I had time when I set out to oh, it's Presenting the bell of the ball. You've seen them in Who magazine, you've seen them in New Weekly, you've seen them Vogue, and you've seen them out of Vogue. <laughs> you've seen them tearing up many a dance floor from Sydney to Miami. Please welcome to the Diva, that's the Dying in Vain Awards, Joe Bailey and Peter Morrissey. Come on. <laughs> So, Nathan, tell me what now? What are you doing now? I'm going to get pictures. <laughs> but the winner is, I hope you all agree with us, the winner is Magadona. Don't I get a fucking statue? Organisation, nobody knows what's going on. The 97 inductee into the Hall of Fame has been a leader, a beauty and a role model for three generations of performers and transsexuals. She has paved the way for the young drags and young ones of today and tomorrow. And the winner is... Carlotta. Carlotta. Fame is fun in the, in the gay community, but I wouldn't want mainstream fame. I think that'd just be too much pressure. It'd be hideous. You'd have to behave yourself. I couldn't. I don't think I could do that. Oh God, I feel so old. <laughs> when I started off in 1963, before half of you were born, I said, you know, we've got a future in this business and this has blown me away because, you know, I work out there with the RSLs. Actually, I looked around tonight, I thought I was at Rudy Hill RSL. <laughs> this has been an end of something that I got ripped off for years in King's Cross. I woke up and I said, get back into the gay scene and get out there and do your own thing. Thank you. Thank you for this. Thank you. Do what you feel. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do because if you, um, I found within myself, if you do what other people expect you to do, then it doesn't work so well. If you've got it in your mind to do what you want to do, go ahead and do it. Then people will appreciate uh, real fabulousness. When we finish here, we really want you to join us at uh, DCM for a fantastic go-off party. The buses are pulling up outside as I speak. And to present Entertainer of the Year, Kevin Golding and Anthony Russell. This year we are celebrating someone who's had an exceptional year and whose body of work is extraordinary. He has a following outside Sydney. His talent is instrumental in fostering a gay scene out beyond Oxford Street. He is always a consummate professional getting on and capturing you with his riveting performances. With only a feather boa or dressed in a rag, his performances are etched in your memory forever. He can, he can be relied upon to, to come in at a moment's notice to do a show. There are no star turns for he's both modest and unassuming about his talent. The 1997 Entertainer of the Year is... Anthony. And the winner is... Guess, Ashley Swift. Ashley Swift!
the year. Fuck. I'd really like to say that. I wasn't expecting this at all. But I'd be lying. <laughs> I've expected it every year and finally I fucking got it. Her fucking right. Before I keep going, let me tell you what tonight really means. Tonight is when every primmed, plucked, trimmed and tucked anal retentive drama queen is living for that one moment. That one moment, one moment where they feel fabulous, they look fabulous when they step out of that limousine, when they make that grand entrance, when they slap that other queen's face, when every moment is just building up to that one big huge fuck you moment and we're all desperately trying to get it. That's what tonight means and that's what the best thing about this night is. Most of all, I'd like to thank myself actually. <laughs> I really would. I'd like to thank myself for putting in the effort and for not giving up all these years. And to my wonderful, wonderful date, Will from Baby Blue, he's out there. Such a beautiful man, thank you. And if you take someone else home tonight, I'm going to let Connie Bushpig know where your business is. You get that? If you don't know who Connie is, ask her around, you'll soon find out. Thank you, it's been a great year. We'll look forward to some more. Thank you, good night, God bless, have a nice life. Ladies and gentlemen, the entertainer of the year, Mr. Ashley Swift. Please put your hands together for... Right now, put your hands together and welcome to the stage for our finale, Miss Barbara Bubbles and the Boys. Good night and God bless. See you in Diva 1998. Thank <laughs> you. 